I couldn't even imagine myself being accepted to Harvard. I completely changed the college application process, the college process. It's more so of learning about yourself, owning the process. Hello everyone, my name is Nadine. I am currently a rising junior at Harvard College. I am Nemo's daughter. Thank you for watching this video. <laughs> No, I didn't. I didn't. I I not I couldn't even imagine myself being accepted to Harvard. For me, I knew those schools were something that I couldn't achieve. I didn't have any confidence. I was very scared. I really didn't have any confidence. I didn't have any confidence. The classes that I was the most passionate about were my biology, biotech, chemistry. This is for me. This is just what I want to do. And 그냥 잘해서 하고 싶은 게 아니고, next 30 years 동안, I want to do something that I love doing every day. I wanted something where I can challenge myself every day, and it's a new adventure every day. As a doctor, or as a surgeon, you have that intimate space where you can really share your experiences and be vulnerable to new people every day. And just helping people. Yeah. Chega ku yang yon samang yon chungan e ku yorun pangage West Point to Kaso. Ir tri tonga from program is on de Kunde Chom Kron Huyoner Padaso. For example, like when I was learning to do push-ups, in the beginning, I thought, push-up or two gebaki but in the year to one young peso some ship get her history, but the don't pull the tongue or two times. So I at the moment I was like, I can achieve anything. Like if I did this, I felt very confident about myself. So those are those are like the little things that I discovered during my college application process. It's more so of learning about yourself, owning the process. Kunguru Amuri Tarezo. Irtun. Irtun Hesso Kunde. Inzenge de Kuron Sengag Yoko. They don't really have those very meaningful vision for the future. Prestigious Ivy Leagues would consider you as a strong applicant. Being a perfect student is not the way to do it. It's about finding who you are and being confident in who you are and owning the process. From my personal experience, I think it has a lot to do with who you are as a person, not just your grades or SAT scores. That's why it's so important to communicate to the admissions officers that you are not just your achievements and you are not just your grades. I see the world this way. I want to achieve my goal this badly and I want to do it not just for myself but for other people. I am doing this for myself to learn, to become a better person. So I was different from other people. I want to go to this school. My dad, oh, he really, this is his dream school for me to go to. Like, I have to get in. Oh, my mom is going to kill me if I don't go to this school. They didn't really understand why they wanted to go to Princeton or why they wanted to go to these schools. They didn't know that this was their college process. It was just to satisfy either their parents. I didn't want to do that. What am I going to make of that experience? Do whatever that makes you happy. Freedom도 많았고, 
그 freedom 갖고 I learned a lot about myself because my mom was not there to say what you're doing is wrong, what you're doing is right. This is how you're supposed to do things. You're supposed to go to this school. Or you're supposed to get this grade. 엄마가 막 거, 거기에서 뭐라 한 적이 없어서 모든 게제 스토리가 된 거죠. There was a teacher of mine named Atticus. He was my advisor since first grade. And he was also my Latin teacher. Atticus really helped me realize that there's so much more to life than, you know, scoring 100 on a test or getting an A plus on an essay. He taught me it's more about human connection and community. Atticus taught me a lot of that, like something he wanted me to see life beyond just what's in front of me and try to think more about my decisions. And I just wanted to get A's for no reason. What can I do to achieve my dreams? Finding more meaning in that rather than just getting good grades. I felt empowered by the college application process because I owned it. And good luck, good luck. <laughs> I don't know what you say at the end of stuff like that, Mom.